hello YouTube and welcome to Uplink. This is a permadeath, not permadeath actually. Perma fail is more like the, the proper term for it. Game about hacking. And when I said permadeath, I mean if you are caught hacking, you are done. You are caught and that is you. And it's supposed to be incredibly realistic and I do love it, so we will play a bit on the internet. I got caught on my last account, so I thought it'd be a good time to start again. Just a heads up, there will be a lot of small text in this game, so you know, you'll probably want to watch this in full screen. Welcome to the Uplink Public Access Server, they say. Hmm. Actually, that's not sketchy at all. I'm just being paranoid. Uplink Corporation maintains the largest list of freelance agents in the world. Actually, that bit is a bit sketchy. And we've operated for the last decade for a flawless record of satisfied customers and successful agents. Yes, yes. Real estate is a good business, isn't it? Register as an agent. I will do that. Anyway, the idea behind this is we have a gateway at a secure location, as it says here. And you connect to that, uh, that computer, and from that computer, you do everything else on the internet of 2001. Because yes, this game was made in 2001, set in 2010, but everything still looks like 2001. So for our agent name, we will of course go with my username for everything. For my password, we will just put... Let's play. I'm not going to put my actual password because it forever, I use for everything else because I don't trust a video game enough for that. And of course I cocked up retyping. There we go, we now get to choose our gateway's location. I will choose London, it's the closest to where I live. We are now inside our gateway. Okay, we now have the uplink system. I will not run the tutorial, but I will explain things to you, the viewers of that being, as we go, because it's a very complicated game if you don't know what you're doing, despite the minimalistic everything that it uses. So, right here we start. These are servers which we can connect to. The only one which we are going to be really interested in throughout the entire game is this one right here, the Uplink Internal Services System. We also have the Uplink Test Machine, Uplink International Bank, which will be useful. You see we start with 3,000 credits. Inter NIC, which will become incredibly useful later in the game, very, very late game to start using that. And we uplink public, public access server, which we will never connect to again. So, we are going to start, we start with this one mission. We have to do that, it's basically the tutorial mission. You see, if you don't do that, when you go into mission list, you don't have a sufficient uplink rating to do any of them. That mission will level you up so that you get a few. We shall disconnect now. So. This is gain access to the uplink test machine by breaking the outer security layer. We have to download the target file uplink test data. So where is that on our map? Uplink test machine, that is where we are going, but that's not where we're going yet, for we have to pay another quick visit to the internal services machine. You see, there is a reason why we were given 3000 credits. This button launches software. We have file utilities. We automatically have a file deleter and a file copier. Hardware drivers, which I have never had before. Actually, I have had once before. Security, crackers, bypasses, LAN tools, and other, which is a tutorial, which I will now promptly delete because it takes up a fuck ton of your memory. Yes, memory space is quite important. What we are here for is three things. First is the password breaker to actually get into systems. You 
can get different versions of software, but there is only one of the password breaker. Item purchased, that's half of our money gone. Next we have the trace tracker, so that we can tell when the people are tracing us and will catch us. We can afford version 2, which also shows a percentage completed. And lastly, we need the log deleter. Right now, version 1.0 will be enough. Later on, we need things like version 4.0 or else you will be caught due to people having log undeleters. As I say, that is not a problem right now. The difference is, this leaves an empty log behind. This leaves a blank space behind. This uh, copies another access log over the top and this um, what's it do? Move other logs up to cover empty space and it's impossible to detect. We shall buy version 1 and that will be one of our first purchases later on. Right, we are now ready to go. We shall connect to the uplink test machine and I will show you what happens. So let's get our trace tracker down here, that goes over there. Ah, you will be traced during your attempts to remember to monitor communications. Yeah. You see this hint here, I was going to actually let it play out and then show you what happens, but I'll actually read the hint and do it properly. You have to bounce your connection all around the world, making you harder to track. I will show you what happens if you don't. You get the password breaker, you set it to work, and they begin a trace, and you are immediately caught. If you do this in a real server, they will probably find you a large amount of money or just call the police and it is game over. So we shall go here, then here, then here, then here and then to where we want. This will make it incredibly difficult for them to find us. We get password breaker, set it to work, give it our full CPU power because the trace tracker doesn't need a certain amount and you see they have traced us 20%. Password is Rosebud as it always is for the test server. Now the mission is to is to copy uplink test data. Copy quicker. We are tracing as you know. Copy a bit quicker, please. I'll shove it in here. I've got a little bit of time to look around the system. Nothing really, but I will delete all logs so that they cannot passively trace us. Passive tracing, for those of you who can't work it out yourself, is when we trace you using the logs that you leave behind, saying that this connection went from here to here, and then here to here, and then here, here to here, and then back to the gateway. They will eventually find you, although it takes several hours. Now we complete this mission, always via email. Send that over, and we get paid! We don't actually get paid here, we don't need that. We actually get paid nothing, because it was a test mission. However, we do get ranked up to a beginner. Now I don't need the uplink test data, I will delete it. Right, we've been here about 10 minutes or so, I think, so I've taken way too long to do the intro to the game for the sake of YouTube. Just a note that you do not need to bounce your connection for things like the uplink internal services system because, you know, you're allowed there. We can now access the mission list and this is where shit will get intense. Like if you have not played this before, you will be amazed how intense and sweaty it may get. Maybe not sweaty, that's an overstatement, that is a big overstatement actually, but it will be intense. Okay, we will get 1800 credits, that's actually fairly good pay for our first mission. Can we auto accept? We can indeed. So I will disconnect here, and I will show you a useful tip for anybody who hasn't played before. When you bounce your connection, go ahead and click save down in the bottom left here. Okay, we are in, we have the trace tracker set up. We shall get the password breaker working. You see, this goes significantly faster than the other one. In fact, I'm quite frightened. 
I'm not going to have enough time. It seems to have stopped, actually. Now, what is my mission again? Because I've completely forgotten. I will need to file copier. Gen data 2, 4... Oh no, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Here. And I have it. Grab some links. And then GTFO. Okay, you see I didn't have time to actually delete logs here. However, that is not a problem. Because... Ah, bollocks. I may, I may have actually ballsed up there. Yes, I did. What I will do is I will go here to en enter NIC because that is another system with no security whatsoever. You will not get caught hacking here. And because this is somewhere I bounced through to get there, the logs that they need to passively trace me will also be on this system. I can therefore delete them from here. Quite easily, in fact. Just like this. Okay, now it is time to set up what are our bounce network. The best step to do is always to do this first, so that you can always access it to delete logs. After that, it does not matter. Set up as many as you want. In fact, as much as you can is a better way to do it. So I will bounce through every network known to man known to this man, me, at this current point in time, and save that for later use. I do not need to connect, however, so I will cancel out. Let's get some payment in here. There we go, we have now 1800. This button shows what's on the map, in case you saw me click it and wonder why. 2200, what shall we do with that? Well, nothing really, we'll just have to do another mission. Let's have a look. Software upgrades are probably the most important part of the game. You will eventually need stuff like gateway upgrades to get better max stats, including that one which I got last time, about 10 minutes before I got caught. And hardware upgrades, so you've got faster processing speed to hack shit faster, more memory, a copy over bigger files, security, which I got and it, it did fuck all to save me, got caught anyway, lying bastards, and modems, I don't actually know what those do. Mission list, we shall do... First of all, we will delete this. We do not need that. Okay, a good note for, to make when you're playing this for the first time. Missions which require you to copy files generally give you more pay than things to delete files. That one was only a 100 difference. But generally that is a good rule to go by. looking for any that pay like 2100 uplink difficulty of 3 we shall contact the employer and ask how secure the target is low that means nothing we can't just use the password breaker and get past so where are we going let's load up our bounce network oh that's new and that's new so we will add both of them save the network and then connect right Later on in the game we will get another button down here which opens a big screen here which shows what security systems they are running and allows us to activate our bypasses to get rid of said systems. Right now we just have to trust that we have nothing overly complicated and use a password breaker. 
We also have the alternative of using a dictionary hacker if we had bought it, which searches a 10,000 word dictionary and sees if any of them are a password. It's a lot faster than password breaker but isn't guaranteed to find an answer, and therefore I never use it. Now, what's our mission because I didn't bother to read it before? 34827. Where would that be? I can't find it, maybe it's already gone. I will check. No, it's not. Ah, it's right there. I was being an idiot. Mission complete. Give me some more links to undo my bounce network, please. And GDF04, they catch me. Okay. No problems. Let's connect to enter NIC and delete our logs. Actually, before we do that, we'll get paid for our mission. Awesome. We will get ranked up. And we will go here to buy the log deleter version 4. Then we shall delete our logs, including the deleted logs. We will properly delete them now. I don't know, I already have a password I shall access. And you see, these are still here. They're just deleted logs. You can't undelete them with certain software, and that lets people trace you. So now we have version 4 of the log deleter. What it does is you delete and it will shift logs on top of it. A good rule when using it is to take from the top because it doesn't take any time at all to shift. I will get rid of all of these and I will do that every single time I complete a mission. This is a game where literally it can pay to be paranoid. Okay back here and get another mission because we are now fairly close to being broke. It costs 300 a month to get to rent the gateway, so if that comes in right now we will have no money. Which means we desperately need to complete a mission. Let's see, are there any good ones yet? Ah, this one. This one will be 3,000 credits because you're hacking into a government database. Who is the target? He's a friend. That's nice. How secure? The security will be low. Of course it is. Can I get some money? Yes. That means I'm not going to get into debt. And you'll see, thanks to a handy green icon, that our target is the International Academic Database which sounds very fancy and difficult to hack into, but in truth, you will hack into this place, assuming you're playing the game, about a hundred times a day. It's incredibly easy to hack into, because it has no systems apart from the one which can tell when you're using a password breaker. And it takes a long time to use a password breaker. However, it takes a very long time for them to trace your connection. We now have a significant amount of nodes we are bouncing our connection through as you can see by the map and this one is slow at the best of times. I've seen myself with uh, my most connections do a mission here with the upgraded trace tracker telling me exactly how long the trace has got to go saying about 1600 seconds remaining. So you really are not pushed at all here. Who is our target? We shall look for Mark Allison. Thank you. A note here, there is a lot of times where you will do things very, very evil, such as giving this guy a third class replacement for his class 1 degree. That's not very, very evil, you may think. Well, that's not as bad as it gets. Sometimes you actually hack into a global criminal database and do things like add, you know, convictions for robbery and stuff to people's records. Or authorise their arrest. That really ruins their life. Or hack into someone's bank account and steal all their money. That's a fun one. 
we shall get to those somewhere in the next three hours. However, I shall be getting to those because I probably won't make much more of this video. On the basis that this game has a lot, it's very intense when you're playing it, but I don't imagine it's very intense to watch because there tends to be just a lot of waiting for the password breakers or the deciphers or well actually that's about it that's the only things that take a long long time or the file copiers occasionally so I'll maybe do 10 minutes more maybe and see if we can get into some high level missions okay looking for the good ones here you will Possibly, if it's your first time playing, make a mistake and just take a lot of these, which pay like, actually that one's not too bad, but like 1600, 1300 even credits. That's not a great idea, because you see if we fast forward time here, you can get missions like improving an associate's academic standing, which pay 2800 to 300 credits, and if you ask for more money, well sometimes they'll say that, sometimes they'll give you an extra 10%. load up, we're already connecting there, so we will hack into here for the second time. I have to click login first, don't I? And you say, well, we've already got an access code there, why are you using a password breaker? Well, that got revoked as soon as we logged out the last time because they were already tracking us. It is completely useless. Let's see what we've actually got. Ah, we're doing the opposite last time. This one requires a first class degree as a replacement for his third class degree. Rather than us doing it the other way around. This is from Christopher Findlay. I'm saying that and speaking about this and reading his mission description to pass the time until the password breaker finishes. There we go, Christopher Findlay. Thank God for people called Christopher and Alex and stuff like that, because this searches alphabetically. That's Findlay. If you make a single spelling mistake, it searches through everyone. Yep, I have, haven't I? Tracer being so slow, but it's annoying because it makes you wait longer. Academic record updated, that means I can reply and just sit here and make sure I get paid. Thank you, I'm apparently I'm now untrustworthy. Well, fuck you too, okay? Let's remove these. Let's see if we can buy anything. 6,100. Right, this comes to part of the video where I will try to actually teach people things, despite having clicked on the wrong button right now. A good order to buy things in, after you've got the password breaker and the, the other stuff, would be the obviously the log deleter version 4, so you, you know you're not going to get caught. The, then you pretty much save up actually, and then you buy this. It costs 20,000. But it's a little button which opens a big screen I spoke about before, which shows the security systems installed on the target system. That allows you to do things like using a proxy bypass version 5.0, which also costs 20,000. Or using a monitor bypass, which is amazing. What that does is it makes it so you can hack through passwords without getting caught. It doesn't guarantee that we won't start tracing you as soon as you get past your password screen, but it's certainly helpful. That costs 25,000. Or, where is the... where is it? The firewall bypass for 10,000. 
surprisingly, firewalls aren't very common. I think it's about five in the whole game, and there is a lot of computers in this game. I've seen myself get like 50 nodes in my bounce network, at least. So, you know, it's not a lot, but you'll need it eventually. Decryptors are also nice. You won't need them, but they'll give you a bit of variety. 15,000 if you want the best version of them. For early missions, version 3, no, version 5. Version 4 or version 5 should do. These ciphers are needed for getting into banks and getting into the uh, global criminal database, that's what it's called. Get the best version of that, it's only 8,000 and it saves you buying it twice. Defrags are good, but not necessary whatsoever. That's about it. You also may want to get the latest version of the Trace Tracker, but again, it's not necessary whatsoever. It's simply a luxury to know exactly when we're going to hack, rather than this, which simply gives a percentage of the Trace Complete. However, if you are going to buy it, don't buy version 3, buy version 4. Oh, the voice analyzer. If you're ever going to hack into the administration version of a bank, you will need the voice analyzer. That's about all, actually. I've never had to use these. I, you will need one of these, actually. The IP lookup. It only costs 500, so it's a good buy, and you will need it for certain missions. I'm going to grab it now, actually, because I know I'll need it eventually. Item purchased. Amazing. That should do for that section. Now let's see if we can get anything, you know, half decent paying. Speed up time, please. Oh, a quick note, this game occasionally crashes on my computer. So, if it crashes, I'll be where the video ends, okay? So, you know, you'll know if I end suddenly. Well, actually, I'm not sure how Bandicam would respond to the game it's recording crashing. It'd probably just give you a blank screen. That tends to be what it does. So I'll explain it. But if it does just end the recording, you will know what has happened. We're really not getting a lot of good missions. Ah, oh, guessing this is a monthly fee, yes. 1400 is completely unacceptable. Aha, here we go. 2800, can I please get more money? No. Well, damn it. Always ask for more money. You're not guaranteed to get it, but if you do, then you know. There's no harm asking, right? So, let's get a good old password breaker out, which will be, I'm sure, every time you're most used program by quite a long way actually. Christopher Fin- oh really? Christopher Finley again? I just went and gave him like a first class replacement for his second class degree and now I've got to go in and give him a third class degree. Well, you know. Yep, that must suck for him. Web power core. Hate them, everybody. Hate them. Are they even hacking? Yeah, they are. It's just incredibly slow. I never understood why this, these missions actually gave you a. were actually classed as difficulty free. It's an incredibly easy. And good paying, too. Stick in a free, commit, send, make sure I get paid before I bother leaving. I did, amazing, 2800. View logs, go to security, log deleter. Last time I went to inter NIC, but if you've got time to do it from the system you were hacking, even better. And we only got 21% there. Considering we only have a tiny amount of bounce in our bounce network, that's quite good. Next mission. Ah, this is a difficult one. I don't think we can actually do this yet, can we? 
No, this one requires a proxy bypass, and that will cost 20,000. Plus the 20,000 for the HUD connection on. on uh, yeah, can't speak. Sorry. The 20,000 for the HUD connection analysis thingy. So, no thanks, actually. Let's do something a slightly different. We'll just do this one, even though it's low paying, it will give a bit of variety for the video. Load up connections. Also, an advantage to doing these is we will get Terra Networks and we will get all the links for Terra Networks. And that will mean it will take everyone longer to trace us because we will have a bigger bounce network. As I said before, get as many nodes as you can. Wasn't bad actually, now what am I doing again? Let's actually get the links real quick. Oh, we have a bank. I might hack that later. File server. Destroying 62196. I shall do that. That is done. I shall apply. Awesome. I shall then get into the logs. Log deleter. And I shall delete all of them. Because most of these are probably left by... Actually, no, these won't be left by me, because this is the first time I've seen the system. But I'll delete them all anyway, because I'm evil. If I was really evil, I would have deleted all their files. But I may actually need them. I did that once, and then I ended up getting a mission and asked me to copy and give them some of the files I deleted, because it's just deleting randomly. So that's never good. I had to abandon the mission. If you do that, you get a lower upload rating. It's still only hacked us 14%, not hacked us, traced us. That's the words you're supposed to use, Gollum. What was this email? Oh yeah, this was our payment one. 1600, we're now at a grand total of 9,700 credits. We will do one more mission. Okay, both of these are for our hacking into the social security place. So we can't do that. Oh, wow. Oh. Wait, isn't that just like the... the easy place? Qualifications required. It is, right? It's, it's Dublin difficulty 4, but I'm pretty sure it's just the international academic database. Let's accept it and find out, right? Okay, fine, I'll do this. This is probably some defense in action. Yeah, probably not. As long as it's what I'm thinking of. It is. There is no defense in action. I shall do this. Actually, I've got some nodes to add to the bounce network. I think I had four. That would match up. Save. Where slow has just become even slower. Then again, this is awful slow as well. But it's not when you use the power of editing. So, records. We're looking for Mark Godwin. And we've only traced us 5%. How pathetic is that? Come on, this is supposed to be a government owned system. I think we would invest a little, eh? He needs a diploma in computing. Maybe I should go and give myself a diploma in computing. Actually, that wasn't a bad idea before. Give me a second. Agent name. wonder if that actually works. I'm sure because, like, if you don't do it, if you just, like, completely fuck up with your spelling, it goes through everyone. Yeah, it does. Diploma in computing. I did very well, didn't I? Actually, I've got something else to do as well. 
This may not be appropriate for YouTube, but it's randomized people every time. I'm sure I saw something here. Nope. Hmm. Because I'm sure I saw the name Jason Thomas while it was flicking through everyone, and that is someone I know, so it would have been quite the coincidence. Actually, it's not a coincidence because it's not real people, but it would have been quite funny, actually. So I thought I would bother searching for it. We have nothing left to do here. Let's disconnect. I'm suddenly craving doing more missions, so I shall do so. Hmm, especially since I kind of cheated out of, you know, most of that with the editing. At least I hope I did, and hope the button didn't bug out. I thought it just been a lot of silence. Creating part of a new identity. That's the social social security place which has a proxy server. I would be able to get in, but I wouldn't be able to edit anything. Ah, now comes the part of the game where you are flooded with missions way too high for you to complete. It happens for most of the game actually, and you've just got to put up with it and wait for a really low level one to come through. Yes, we know. Did you even revoke the thing? It come up with the same password last time, so I thought we may have not. Now, edit! And done. Who is the target? Richard... Botten. Search is quite slowly, actually. Why am I giving in? Really? <laughs> really? Oh, Uplink Corporation is not gonna like that at all. I'm assuming you all realised this, but if you didn't, if you was all just, you know, if you're all just retards for some strange coincidence. Then Uplink is the company that hires us to do all the hacking which we get our missions from. So us making people, us allowing people to pretend they are agents is probably not good. Ah oh well. I'm sure it's fine so long as they delete the logs. Then again, I've never seen that pop up before. I've played like 12 hours of this game and have never seen that pop up. Probably done about 1200 bloody hacks into the International Academic Database. One more! I will continue until I have that HUD connection analysis because I kind of want to show you what it is. To so you know, you know that I wasn't making random shit up. Mission! Generating university degree. Oh, will I even get us? Oh, no, it won't actually. Oh, but it's very close, isn't it? If we can get more money... Damn you! I refuse. There is a lot of waiting in this game. Aha! Another one! Oh, really? Well, now I've definitely screwed this over because I've waited so long that the... Things come in. Okay, fine, I'll just do it for god's sake. You know what, I may as well do Oh, I know this is the same mission and it's worth more. Oh well, I'll do them both. I've got time, don't I? There's a good way to get a lot of money. Oh, AR oh yeah, this is a special mission, right? Where you hack into ARC Central Mainframe. Basically, they can't be caught and we're developing some sort of electronic super weapon. But, however, we cannot connect to them normally because this happens. It will not accept external connections. So we need to get, we need to route our connection through a different, a different ARC connection. I don't know how to do this yet. Well, I haven't tried very hard, but you know, I'll do it eventually. There is a guide on the Steam community guide section of this game about that, that's probably quite useful. 
even though I've never read it, it probably is. Let's just delete it because I won't be doing it this save. And back here. We shall hack passwords incredibly quickly. Just like that. Search for records. Let's start with Scott Grant. And he needs a physics class 1 degree. Whenever they ask for a random degree added, it will always be class 1. Because why would you not want a class 1 degree? If you're paying someone to get you a random degree, you might as well get, you know, a class 1. And oh my god, he even has a G. He's done so badly, but yet he expects someone to believe he got a class 1 in physics. Is a G even possible? I don't know. It just goes to F. It's supposed to just go to F. We don't even use our system schools anymore. Okay. Media studies for Aston Parking. Not parking, just parking. Aston is parking, but he's in a disabled spot when he's not supposed to be. Ah! Kill everything in town and things are going crazy. I really fell apart. There we go, two missions completed just like that. And we now have 23,000, quite a sizable amount. Let's go and spend it all on one incredibly overpriced piece of software, just like Norton security systems or an extra few gigabytes of RAM. Actually, I don't know how much extra RAM costs. Probably not that much, after we save my joke. Ah, well. What was we doing this? Hard connection. You see, now we have enough to buy almost everything except this. 50,000. I've never actually gotten far enough into a game to need to use LAN stuff. Purchase. Item purchased. And you see, we get this. This shows that the Uplink Internal Services System uses a proxy system, a firewall system, and the monitor system. You can never hack this. Actually, you can. Firewall costs 10,000. I'm assuming they have the highest version of everything. Monitor costs 25,000. Proxy costs 25,000. No, 20,000. So, if you have roughly 55,000, then you can hack it. But apart from that, no. No. Okay, now let's see. I will do this on one other thing. Actually, no I won't, because it would take too long. This was supposed to be a half hour video. That will do, YouTube. We have completed another YouTube video, and so it is the end. Let us see our personal stats in 45 minutes. We have a notorious rating, no criminal record, and a grade 13 agent. That's not too bad. In 45 minutes, I got to place 24 on the randomly placed list of agents. I'd say this is quite a good game considering it was made in 2001. You can buy it on Steam which is basically what everyone has ever used for PC gaming, correct? No, but it's what a lot of people use. As, but I didn't get it from Steam, I got it from the Humble Bundle, however that is no longer available, go and buy it off of Steam. Yes, do it, now it won't be that expensive and it's amazing considering when it was made. I'll leave you with that and goodbye.